In this interactive guide, you'll learn how to reduce organizational risk with threat and vulnerability management in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You'll see how threat and vulnerability management can help you identify vulnerabilities in real time, assess threats to your organization, and remediate endpoint weaknesses. To navigate this interactive guide, follow the prompts on the screen or use your forward and back arrows. Threat and vulnerability management serves as an infrastructure for reducing organizational exposure, hardening endpoint surface area, and increasing organizational resilience. You can access threat and vulnerability management from the Microsoft Defender Security Center. To get started, select Threat and Vulnerability Management to expand the section. Next, select Dashboard. The Threat and Vulnerability Management Dashboard is populated with several key overviews, including the Exposure Score, Microsoft Secure Score for Devices, and Exposure Distribution for Devices in your organization. Minimize the left navigation pane and then scroll down to see more of this dashboard. This dashboard also provides real-time visibility into the top events, top vulnerable software for your organization, and top exposed devices with their recommendations. Note that the top security recommendations are visible in the pane on the right side of the screen. To see the most impactful events for a selected time period, you can go to the Event Timeline. The Event Timeline is a risk news feed that can help you interpret how risk is introduced into your organization through new vulnerabilities or exploits. You can filter the time range as needed to determine the cause of large changes. You can drill into an event for more information. The Event Details pane provides the associated Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, or CVEs, for this device. You can also view the related security recommendation from here. To see the whole CVE list, scroll down and select Show More. You can click a CVE to learn more about the vulnerability, including its Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS. Next, let's look at the Threat and Vulnerability Management Security Recommendations for this organization. This page provides a list of actionable recommendations to improve the vulnerability posture of the organization across all operating systems and software. Recommendations are prioritized to help you focus on the vulnerabilities that currently pose the highest exposure risk. Let's select a threat to learn more. Threat analytics in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint are integrated and associate known threats to weaknesses discovered by threat and vulnerability management. Here you can get quick threat insights related to this security recommendation. Close the threat insights to investigate further. Next, select the security recommendation. Here you can view more details about the recommendation. Let's expand the Exposed Devices section. This is a list of devices affected by the vulnerabilities associated with this software. Scroll down the pane to see more details. Next, expand the CV. These are the CVEs that machines are currently exposed to due to this software. At the top of the pane, you can see two types of mitigation actions. Select Remediation Options. Here, you can create a remediation request. This creates a remediation activity item within Threat and Vulnerability Management which you can use to monitor the remediation progress for the recommendation. Notice that you have the option to open a remediation ticket directly in Microsoft Endpoint Manager for Azure Active Directory joined devices. You can also set a priority and due date for your request. In this case, let's continue without submitting a remediation request. Next, select Exception Options. Here you can create an exception for the security recommendation. This will change the related recommendation status from active to exception. While under exception, remediation requests cannot be initiated for this recommendation. 
To remediate, you can either cancel the exception or let it expire. Let's view the justification reasons you can choose for the exception. The reasons include third party control, alternate mitigation, risk accepted, and planned remediation. In this case, we won't create an exception. Let's close out here and navigate to the Remediation page to look at how to monitor remediation progress. On this page, here you can see more information about the remediation activity, such as its description, IT service and device management tools, and device remediation progress details. Close the pane to return to the Remediation page. Next, the primary mitigation option for a security recommendation is creating a remediation request, but in some cases, you'll need to create an exception for the security recommendation. Here, you can see a list of active exceptions for the organization. Select the Update Python exception. Here, you can see the exception details, including its status, justification, type, and more. Now let's close the pane and navigate to the Software Inventory page. This page provides a list of... Here you can see Threat Insights for the application. Close the Threat Insights and then select the application to drill into it. This tab shows a list of all missed security updates for this software with their associated KB number. Now let's return to the Threat and Vulnerability Management dashboard. Scroll down to the top exposed devices. Under top, select a device belonging to Debra P. A dedicated page opens for this device that is enriched with threat and vulnerability management data to provide full vulnerability context. This enables you to easily see any gaps in the machine's defenses and gain insights into possible weaknesses that were exploited by an attacker. The Overview tab shows a summary of the active alerts, logged on users, and security assessments for this machine. You can review the other tabs to investigate this device further. Let's open each for a quick look. Now that we've investigated this device, let's navigate to This is a knowledge base of vulnerabilities known to threat and vulnerability management. It includes vulnerabilities that currently apply to your organization, as well as those that don't. To understand how exposed your organization is to a specific vulnerability, you can review it here. Select the first vulnerability in the list. Here you can review the vulnerability description in details, including its severity, CVSS rating, age, and more. Scroll down the pane. You can also see integrated endpoint management capabilities enable you to see a list of the organization's devices that have been exposed to this vulnerability. Now let's close the pane and navigate to the settings page for email notifications. To make sure all are enter a name for the notification rule, adding a description is optional. 